this has now become a major search. It's not just involving officers from Sussex. And in fact, when I looked at the photographs this morning and the video this morning, there's an awful lot of officers. Literally, they've had to pull them in. They're also being supported by officers from the Metropolitan Police. And, and why they are that is because this is a Metropolitan Police crime. This is initially being investigated by the Metropolitan Police. This is an awful lot of police officers in Brighton in that area that they're scouring now. Is there a lot of activity behind you, Andrew? Absolutely. Um, for almost the whole time I've been here this morning and I got here um, just after eight in the morning, there's been um, police officers coming in vans, uh, Metropolitan Police branded vans, um, just ferried in uh, en masse and getting out. Um, most of the search uh, has been conducted by Metropolitan Police officers um, and a lot of the vehicles behind me are indeed from that same force. Um, Sussex police are here and there, um, but the majority, as you say, is, is definitely led by Sussex police. So the other interesting thing, just for people to bring them aware, so police forces work on mutual aid. What that means is that a police force can call upon another police force who has a specialism to come and assist them, and it's called mutual aid by the very nature. Now, what happens is those police forces will then come in and they will provide support for the local police. Uh, it obviously means that the officers who are working in the local force don't have all abstractions where everybody is just pulled into one area. And of course, crime then has a the potential to increase elsewhere. But also, it means that they're not policing those other areas. The massive advantage of being able to call upon the Metropolitan Police, who are literally up the road, is that they have huge amounts of officers who are driving around on a day-to-day -day basis in tactical support teams, who can provide that very quick mutual aid. So they're very lucky, really, that this is taking place uh, in an area that is so close to the city. But also, whilst it's been incredibly cold over, overnight, the weather now is quite pleasant, isn't it? The sun's out, and actually it's quite positive in terms of being able to search. We've got longer hours now in the day. Absolutely. I mean, I've got quite a thin jacket on today, um, you know, there's a slight breeze, but definitely I think, you know, the police are, you know, they're not, they're not wrapped up warm. They're not, you know, huddling together for warmth there, I say. They are very proactive in what they're doing. And, you know, as, as you say, it, it, it's, the weather's definitely a lot better than it has been in, in, in recent weeks. And I think the other thing that's really important to stress is that this baby hasn't been seen for some time now. The, the last images of this baby was soon after uh, the child went missing. They have made quite a lot of attempts to try and hide their identity. I think some of those photographs that we've seen through the CCTV is them wearing big clothing. And I think the information certainly that's coming to us from the police is that they were sleeping rough in the local area. Is that what you've been told, Andrew? That's um, exactly what I understand as well. Um, obviously, from reports from the police and obviously members of the public as well, we've heard that they have been uh, seen camping in blue, or understood to be camping in a blue tent. Um, obviously, we can sort of reasonably conclude as well that between New Haven and around the area as well, they've uh, obviously maybe been sleeping rough in the South Downs National Park. And just give me a sense of how big is that South Downs National Park? I mean, it's, it's a colossal area, isn't it? It's massive. Um, the South Downs National Park runs, to my understanding, from uh, sort of Hampshire way all the way down to Eastbourne. Uh, which is a fair few miles east of us as well. Um, and, you know, you could go and you could walk days without seeing another person uh, if, you're, if you're quite careful with, with where you go. 